Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Vander MoBabes. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do a review on the Executive Box Mod by Japtech Engineering. There you go guys. Today, we're going to do the usual review by Andrew MoBabes. We're going to break it down, put it back together, bring the camera back up, then I'll give you my pros, cons, price, and all that shit. All right, let me start off now with the specifications of this mod. This is a parallel box mod. And it also comes with a series kit. It also comes with a hard case pouch. And the spring on the firing button is actually made of 70% silver and 30% brass. I'll show that to you later. All copper internals and made in the Philippines. Today, I'm definitely excited to review this mod. I already posted um, the unboxing of this and also tested out its performance on series configuration. You know, if you have watched it, you can definitely see how surprised I am with the performance of this mod on series configuration. Right now, um, on top of the mod is uh, head RDA by Brainbox Concept and RY4 Butterscotch by um, Vaporite. This is on parallel configuration as I mentioned. Scorpion wires by Scorpion Wire Spinas. This is the um, triple 26 gauge with 36 gauge wrap. Um, four wraps reading at 0.08 ohms. So be careful, this is not for newbies. Uh, make sure to um, know battery um, safety, ohms law, as well as proper carrying of your Mac mods if you're a Mac mod user, all right? Let me just um, try this one out. Let me take a quick drag. Airflow is about um, a quarter closed. I'm sorry, the fan is still on. It's kind of hot, you know, I'm recording it in the afternoon. Um, just got off work. But um, still, still flavorful, nice build, nice atomizer. Definitely classic. So on batteries, by the way, VTC4s, um, same batteries that we just um, rewrapped. I posted a um, battery um, rewrapping tutorial. Check it out on my channel. Just to make this one quick, let's um, bring the camera back down um, and let's break it down, put it back together. Then I'll see you back up top. Stay tuned, guys. There you go. That's how I received the executive box mod in a hard case pouch. So um, let's open it. There you go. So I still have the battery. Quick look here. So there's the um, engrave. It's kind of the same um, on each side. There's an eagle. You know, the Polynesian theme um, engraving all around. Here. It says executive here near the middle. In here there's also a design here you know like claw marks at the bottom copper negative contacts there's also a copper rod in here later on I'll show it to you then the top plate yeah as you can see 030 there's also a logo there logo of the Japtech engineering brass screws 510 connection with the copper 510 so basically that's it let's focus on the pouch so nice packaging i like it hard case pouch here is the um, series um, kit so like three piece um, copper um, kit which is nice uh, later on i'll show it to you guys and you also have the user manual here yeah, executive um, box mod established 2015, serial number 030. And if you open it up, just pause it if you want to read it. So here are the um, specs. I just provided you, um, you know, just some of the specs. But uh, here's the complete specifications of the executive box mod. On the um, left part, you will see the, um, well, this is actually um, called the um, exploded view of the um, parallel assembly and on the other side here's the series assembly just pause it if you want to take a look at it definitely helpful guys so let's um, set it aside and let's focus on the box mod let's break it down now let's take off the batteries first 
So here are the batteries that we um, re-wrapped. You know, just check the video. Um, I'll post the link below and I'll post it here. You know, VTC force. Let's focus on these. Yeah, the copper contacts. Thick copper contacts and really huge vent holes. Design is um, you know simple, but they like the uh, vent holes, guys. Here on the Delrin body, as you can see, there are vent holes on one side. If you're gonna look at it this way, there will be um, three on each side, total of six, which is definitely good for venting. Uh, I just hope that um, there's some other. Um, holes on the other side because um you know if you're gonna look at it um, this way there's just vent holes on the left side right but um again you have good vent holes at the uh, bottom so that's fine again i've already showed you the engraving so the next one would be here let's try to um, take it off let's focus on these so here this is the uh, firing button as you can see there are grooves around the um, firing housing so this helps um, you know if you're gonna take it out or put it back in there's something that you can grip on and um, yeah copper the Delrin um, button you know let's take it out you know just simple just unscrew the copper Kind of hard to take it out because the uh, magnet is really uh, stiff. I'll show you the um, spring later. Definitely um, thick copper here. Very nice. Um, it makes nice contact. And here it's actually brass with um, Delrin. I'm not sure if we can um, take it off, but I believe this is press fitted. I won't take it out anymore. But um, yeah, the, bu um, the button is two piece. Um, brass and Delrin. All right, then the housing itself. I already showed you just this one. It's made out of brass And here just want to highlight the um, the spring again the spring is made of 70% silver and 30% brass This is definitely thick as you can see um, if you're gonna It's kind of hard to catch um, in the camera, but it's kind of it's not really rounded it's somewhat flat in a way and definitely stiff this is stiff in a good way guys you could say that this is definitely durable all right so let's set it aside i'm so sorry guys my camera just died on me uh forgot to charge the battery to um take out the bottom brass plate as well as the um uh, the brass top plate uh you need the uh, you know flathead screwdriver let's take this one out first then here this is the copper rod so make sure to take it out carefully because this is copper this might strip so here is the copper rod all right let's set it aside then you should be able to take the um, bottom brass plate very thick um, bottom brass plate set it aside then we'll go to the um, top plate well we already um, exposed the um, copper plate in here because we already removed the um, firing button so let's take it off just be careful you don't want to scratch that um, shiny um, brass top plate there you go Brass screws just like um, well same screws as the one that holds the bottom brass plate and then after that you should be able to pull it out there you go thick top brass plate as well highly polished at the top nice machining on this and um, it really fits well here it's not really loose which is good you know upon disassembling it it won't um, fall right off you need to um, you know put a little effort so you can um, pull it out i like that let's set it aside in here the copper plate in here you know this will just 
fall, fall right off. That's um, where your copper firing pin hits to make a connection. And at the bottom, that's where your copper rod screws in, like this. All right, definitely thick, makes really nice connection. As we all know, the thicker the material, the better the conductivity, all right? Let's set it aside. Then this one. You see this um, Delrin part right here? There you go, so you can see it moves. So you can just pull it out. There's the Delrin, this is full Delrin. Nice finish on this, by the way, in matte finish. I'm not sure if this is sandblasted, but definitely nice. And here, there's your connection. This is your adjustable 510. That's where your atomizer would be um, on top of. And that's the contact um, for the positive side of your batteries because this is in parallel configuration. All right. That could be taken out. Just uh, push the 510 down. Then it will fall right off. So here is your um, parallel um, assembly. You can take it out, this is adjustable, but I won't um, take it out anymore. This is just one piece, then this one screws right off. All right, Delrin, straightforward, just the Delrin housing for your contacts. So now let's count the parts of the um, executive box mod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, including the um, 510, 18 if you can take this off, okay? 18 parts all in all. Oh, I'm sorry. This one slides off. So that would be 19, including the copper rod. I'm sorry. That's for the um, parallel configuration. Then 20, 21, and 22, including the series configuration kit. All right. Let me put it back together first. Then we'll convert the parallel configuration executive box mod to its series configuration, all right? First, you gotta assemble this. So there's a, a hole in this Delrin housing for the contacts. So the hole, that's where your 510 goes. Just slide it right in. There, it should be like that. It should fit perfectly. And the 510 should be, um, you know, protruding, okay? Then, this is how you're going to um, insert it this so it, there's no lock or notch on it but um, once you put this um, copper contact for the rod and um, you know for your firing this will hold it in place all right so you can see the groove here this one that locks in here so as you can see on this angle right you can just drop it then the next one would be the um, top brass plate. This Delrin part fits perfectly here. So um, there shouldn't be any problems. There, it locks right in. Then put the screws. There. Then let's um, put this um, bottom brass plate. So you'll see um, on the other side, the hole is kind of smaller for the screws. On the other side, it's kind of bigger. There's also a step inside where the um, head of your screws will press perfectly. So I just put it this way. And then put the brass screws. Then the copper rod. Again, we're um, putting it back to its um, parallel configuration, okay? Please be mindful of that. You know, just be careful on screwing it in because again, this is copper. You don't want to strip it or damage the copper rod. Don't lock it too tight. Just try it. Then let's fix the button. There's the housing. Just put this chunky spring inside. Then the button, just press it and screw the copper firing pin on the other side. There you go. Then put it back in here. I really like the firing, guys. Then, yeah, just this. The um, negative um, copper contact or the battery cover. 
there you go it's already back to its um, parallel configuration very easy right so right now let's go ahead and um, convert it to its series configuration um, you don't need to take out the um, bottom brass plate anymore you just need to disassemble the um, copper contact at the bottom or the copper rod take it out um, then set it aside then you just need to disassemble the um, top brass plate to convert this to um, series configuration you need to take it off that's where all the contacts will go on this Delrin part as well as here you're going to change that copper contact okay so just set it aside then take out this um, copper contact and set it aside as well go get your series kit if you're gonna look at it this is how I receive it on this condition way far from being polished <laughs> okay and this one same same condition not really polished all right so um yeah something that we can add to the con <laughs> so again same thing this is actually your 510 um, connection copper screw here that's your 510 same thing you just need to slide it right in it fits perfectly so you shouldn't have any problems um, converting it I guess everything fits perfectly to its place and then you're going to um, put it here you know there's a hole right just align it to the hole on the Delrin housing and then just hold it like this and screw this chunky copper screw which will serve as your battery contact So that's um, how it should look on its series configuration. Again, these three fits perfectly here. All right, then just slide it right in. Okay. You would know if this is also flat, you know, aligned to the Delrin body, then that means you're good to go all right then put this um, top brass plate there and put the screws back and there you go that's already your series um, configuration for the executive box mod so on series configuration you will be left with these three the positive contact this um, firing contact where your um, copper rod screws in as well so these three will um, should be left out if you're going to use it in series configuration all right so same thing if you're going to um, put it back to uh, its parallel configuration from series configuration take out um, all the copper contacts in the um, Delrin housing inside then put it all back in screw the um, copper rod here at the bottom then you're good to go all right there's nothing to worry about because you won't be able to interchange any of the copper contacts inside so um, you're good to go just make sure to know which part is for series and which part is for um, parallel if something um, doesn't fit right in then definitely something's wrong with what you're doing okay so um, that'll be it for the dive down uh, for this mod, the executive box mod by Japtech Engineering. Um, so I'll just put it back to its parallel configuration. Again, let's bring it back up top and we'll talk more about this mod. Stay tuned guys. There you go guys, that was a quick dive down to the specs of the executive box mod. And um, I already showed you how to um, convert it from parallel configuration to uh, series configuration. Well, um, I already um, showed you the um, performance of this mod on its series configuration. Again, um, just watch the uh, first impression or the unboxing on this mod. There, um, I um, only tried the um, series configuration. I only used the uh, series kit for like a couple of days. 
And then um, right after that, I immediately, um, you know, put a build on the head RDA. And uh, yeah, definitely enjoy the um, boat uh, configuration. So let me just start my pros with that. Definitely recommendable um, in terms of this mod being versatile. You can use it in Paro, you can use it in Series, uh, as I keep on saying. I'm definitely impressed how they designed it and how you wouldn't be able to um, interchange its um, copper parts whenever you're converting it from one configuration to another. As we all know, if you missed something or if you left a different copper part for a different configuration, then that might create a problem. And the worst is, um, you know, your battery venting right so we don't want that to happen and I'm really impressed how they designed it in such a way that um, every part is dedicated for you know different configurations as well so I'm definitely impressed with that and um, as you also um, saw in the dive down you know all the parts definitely chunky copper especially the contacts the top plate the bottom plate are brass but um, definitely hefty and um, very thick material um, they've used. I also want to highlight the spring, you know, the 70 30 um, silver to um, brass ratio. Kind of stiff, but I like how stiff it is. This could avoid misfire, you know, in your pocket, um, in your bag. With it being this stiff, um, I like it. You really need to press it, you really need to um, mean it before it fires, guys. Overall, um, my first pro for this mod, aside from being versatile, is the safety feature. Again, you know, um, you wouldn't be able to interchange the parts and um, you may be able to avoid, um, you know, misfires um, with its spring being that um, thick and, um, you know, it's definitely solid, guys. I like it. Um, next pro for me would be um, the machining. The machining on the, um, the Delrin. Um, well, this comes in two colors, white and black Delrin. But you also have the option um, to um, have it painted, which is definitely good. I saw some white Delrin body with, um, you know, pink accent. Yellow accent, I saw also one, or um, even black. Well, I guess um, that depends on your request. You can definitely contact the, um, the modder, have a customized paint on it. Yeah, definitely a pro, right? Uh, let me just flash a picture for you so um, you'll understand what I'm saying, okay? Check it out. But again, um, very nice machining on the engraving. Um, I really dig the design. Polynesian uh, theme. I really like it with the eagle. Even the engraving on the side. It's very clean. And um, also, the, um, the machining on the firing, there's actually um, grooves so that you will be able to uh, take it out easily, you know, and screw it back in easily as well. All in all, the design, definitely uh, two thumbs up. Yeah, while we're speaking of um, machining, I also like how they put the um, vent holes. I really like the accent, you will be able to see your batteries. I'm digging that. Um, also vent holes um, down at the bottom. What I like about the um, vent holes at the bottom, you could actually see um, your battery. You know, just by um, looking at this, you would be able to tell. If you're looking at the um, you know positive or the negative um, contact of your battery, which is the best way to check, right? Instead of um, taking them off and um, checking your battery if it's you know in the right position, I appreciate that. You know, putting big vent holes on your bot. Good job. The firing as well, guys. I really like how ergonomic it is. You know, the grooves here. There's actually a different um, angle to it, wherein um, you know the rest of your fingers falls into its place, and your um, index finger is just on top of it. You know, definitely comfortable as well as the groove here on the other side, the bite of firing button. This part of your um, palm just rests perfectly there. So um, I really like that as well. Ergonomic, you know, firing, you know, top side. I don't, I don't know how you call it. I call it top side. <laughs> the angle and how you're firing this, whichever hand you use, definitely comfortable, guys. Yeah, next pro, power guys. As you've seen um, on the uh, first impression, the unboxing, I've shown you the, um, you know, the power on its uh, series configuration. And um, on this review, you know, I show you um, how it performs on its parallel configuration. I was really surprised upon testing out the series configuration. I'm using, you know, uh, fully charged batteries um, by that time, but still, I can say that this is the hardest hitting series mod that um, came across the channel. On its parallel um, configuration, for me, it's really hard to tell comparing it from one mod to another, but I could say power is definitely there, guys. Credits to the um, very, very thick copper um, contacts that Japtech made. 
for the executive box mod all right so um i guess that would be um all the pros that i could say about this mod so let's jump now to the um cons of this mod first con that i could um share with you guys is actually um, quality control quality control in terms of um, having a product ready for release for me um every time i receive um you know mods or any gear um, any vaping gear i always check the quality um especially how clean it is not just the machining but you know the visible dirt i don't want to see any visible dirt um upon receiving this mod you know everything outside is definitely clean but upon breaking it down trying to put it into its other configuration i noticed that all of the contacts they're not even polished guys so um kind of disappointing but um well it won't hurt um you can just clean it yourselves guys but for me it would definitely be a plus if everything is all the way clean i guess there's some of you that um, won't care or won't bother if the mod is um you know needs cleaning or needs polishing but um i guess this is something that i really look into whenever i receive a um you know new gear especially for review guys not a deal breaker but uh, for me a little bit disappointing lastly for my con would be their technical support um, they're kind of hard to contact i tried you know contacting both of them jose and um, joseph credo one of them immediately replied but uh, failed to follow through the other one um, you know took a really long time to respond while i'm contacting them during that time i was just planning to purchase um, because i just i want to purchase um straight from the mod or, but i guess they're really busy but you know um technical support for a high-end mod I think that's really a must. You'll never know. Someone might have an issue with your mod. You know, just a little bit disappointed on that part, but um, they respond, guys, just not in a timely manner, you know? So, um, all in all, I guess that's it, guys. Um, that's all the pros and cons that I could think of. I know that you've been waiting for the pricing of this mod. How much will it cost you to have the executive box mod by Japtech Engineering? This two-in-one mod cost 4,900 pesos, guys. That's the suggested retail price of this mod. If you're gonna ask me if um, the price is just right for the mod, I guess definitely it is. You know, having a two-in-one box mod, definitely worth it. You know, 4.9 is just the usual price for just a box mod, series or parallel. But um, having, you know, the versatility, I guess this is um, on the cheaper side. Definitely worth it with the quality, the machining and everything. I guess it's just right for its price. Definitely um, recommend Commendable by Andre Mo Vapes. I enjoyed testing out this mod. Again, huge shout out to Richard Carl Reyes. Um, I appreciate the loan. Definitely enjoyed the mod. If I had a chance, I'll definitely uh, buy one. Again, worth it. Very versatile mod. A nice price point for what you will get. For orders, I'll give you, um, you know, the shops um, that has this mod. I also um, post the link below of um, Japtech Engineering, um, the persons that you can contact directly. Huge shout out to um, Katie Clothing for my cap. Appreciate it, bro. Um, I guess that's it for my review, guys. I really appreciate you all for tuning in for another review here in the channel. Yeah, um, there's a lot lined up. Um, local mods, um, local gears that we'll be reviewing here soon. Make sure to um, stay tuned. Um, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to um, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so that you'll get notified immediately uh, whenever um, you know I have new videos, new reviews or tutorials or even vlog guys i'm also considering you know posting vlogs don't forget to like comment and share um also my facebook page at andre mo vapes like and follow that um, i also post extra contents there you know share articles uh, post pictures hand checks and all of that you know our goal for this year is to uh, make sure that this um, channel is active i'll um, post um you know more contents as much as i can if you're interested of um, you know sending out gears for review i would appreciate it just make sure to check the um, contact information below as always um vape on vape safe and vape smart support local and always always support your local vape shop guys again this is andrea of andrea mo vapes until next video guys peace out You know, for me, that's...